It's the Kyle Hyman Show on Redeemer Radio. Hey guys, this is Sebastian, and I'm going to be talking about Deem and Dom. Deem and Dom? Why did you call them Deem and Dom? Funny intro. Hello, and thank you for joining us for another episode of Catholicism with my kid. I'm Kyle Hyman. And I'm Sebastian Hyman. So, Sebastian, you said you want to talk about Adam and Eve. Why? Adam and Eve is a good story for kids so that it's like what is right and wrong. It's a lesson in what's mm-hmm. right and wrong? Yeah. Because why? Because God says not to eat from the uh, not to eat from the fruit of the one tree, mm-hmm. and they do, and then they get banished from the garden, mm. and that's what would happen if you disobey God. What happens if we disobey God? You will get punished, mm. or not go to heaven. So is that the only lesson from Adam and Eve? Basically. Do you think it's a true story? No. Why not? Because there was dinosaurs. So what if the dinosaurs existed before Adam and Eve? Then they would kill Adam and Eve. No, I mean before. So dinosaurs existed, and then dinosaurs went extinct, and then Adam and Eve. Well. <clears throat> Could that have happened? I don't know. People think that Adam and Eve came from gorillas. Yeah. <laughs> Monkeys. Do you think that's true? I don't know. So that's the theory of evolution. So in the Bible, it says that God created Adam and Eve, but science, as we study it, it seems like humans evolved from other species. Do you think that's a contradiction? That well, you, the both couldn't be true. Well, Adam and Eve, I don't know if it's true, but I don't think that we evolved from animals because um, they don't have souls, and we have souls. Okay, that's good. So I think that's a key part of the story that however God decided to create humans Mm -hmm. if science is correct and it seems like it is humans probably did evolve from other species and that's how God created humans through years and years of evolution and the first humans to have a soul were Adam and Eve Mm -hmm. and that's what makes them human is because they have a soul so at some point they were animals without souls and then at some point there's humans with souls and those first two humans that have souls were Adam and Eve so the story of creation which includes the story of Adam and Eve is not necessarily a scientific story the Bible is not a scientific textbook the seven day creation where God creates the different things on each day that doesn't necessarily mean 24 hour periods And that Adam and Eve were literally created within seven days of the entire creation of the world. So those seven days may have taken actually millions or billions of years. Each million of year equals one day in God's time. Well, yeah, not not exactly, but you get the point. So there's a couple key takeaways from the story. One is that God created humans. Do you believe that? Yeah, because, like, who else will create the universe? Mm Mm-hmm. You know? And humans are different because they're made in the image and likeness of God, and they have a soul. So when God creates things, he names them. But when God creates man, he lets man name himself. Because we share in the image and likeness of God. So it's it's kind of a different level, right? Yeah. And then also, Adam's able to name other creatures. Like deer. Being the first humans, being the first with souls, we all become descendants of Adam and Eve. And with Adam and Eve as our parents, as the the first parents, they sinned by not listening to God. And that fallen nature is also passed on to the rest of humanity. That we're born into a fallen world and we have a fallen nature. Yeah. But we also know that God had a plan to reverse that sin and bring Adam and Eve back to paradise with him. And at the time, they didn't know how that would work, but now we know that Jesus died for us so that we can be in union with him again. 
So when Adam and Eve fail to do what God asks, Mary and Jesus don't fail. They succeed in doing God's will. Eve says no and eats the apple. Mary says yes and has Jesus. Adam failed and sinned, ate the apple. Jesus does his father's will. A lot of times they'll talk about Mary as the new Eve and Jesus as the new Adam. They're not a husband and wife, but they're a man and woman who undo the sins of Adam and Eve. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Not everything in the Bible is literal, and it's not a scientific textbook, and it's not historically exactly how things went, but there are moral truths that we can learn from these stories, and there are things that are true about them as well. And so we don't want to just say that it's a fiction story either. It's kind of somewhere in between. Okay. So what did you learn today? Well, I learned that Adam and Eve could be dinosaurs. Could be dinosaurs? Yeah, that evolved from monkeys. And monkeys are dinosaurs. No, none of this is true. Well, I learned that God is greater than anything. (laughs) You knew that before, though, didn't you? Yeah. 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 I don't know what I learned. Mm.